If somebody could kill you with their attitude and with their face alone, it would be this man stood center right now. There is something about this aura, right? He could just kill you. You'd stand in front of him as a fan girl and you'd fall to the ground because your legs would give way. Literally, there is just something in this area, this swag, this kind of slanted shoulders, hand in the pocket. He does this a lot and he is so good at it. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, Herrera here. I hope that you are all doing well. This is SB19 and this is what the performance video soldier version so i'm guessing they're going to be in their costumes but i'm looking forward to seeing that choreography that i just watched a little bit more in context with the music video with the concept but still getting to see those lines formations transitions power hold those hairstyles fabulous Let's go. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, definitely turned his swag on for this one. You see the performance kind of, it differs. Suddenly their faces and their chins are slightly up. We're having all of that eye contact they're so good at. And because you put them in the same outfits as well, the lines end up being a little bit more similar. And actually it does more justice to the dancing, doesn't it? <laughs> I can't wait to see them do that jump right now. What? Oof. No wonder I miss it. Is that how they present it to us in the music videos? Well, I'll have to go back and rewatch it just for that bit alone. So now I'm starting to see the difference between all of them when they were rehearsing. And you, of course, you can identify them, but go with me for a second. When they're wearing all of their uh, rehearsal gear, hair on the face, and they're just trying to get the movements down, it's different, right? They're a little bit more uniform. Now they've had time to adjust into the movement and they're giving us a flavor of their personalities in this it's different what power means to Stell, for example as a big bulky muscly guy is something different to what it means to ken as a slim guy right who's a little bit more fluid in his movements and lost in his own world right so different yet they're doing the same thing but this is nice because i'm now i'm getting a flavor of their personalities <laughs> And I finally get that face. Oof. Oh. Look at Josh. If somebody could kill you with their attitude and with their face alone, it would be this man stood 
center right now there is something about this aura right he could just kill you you'd stand in front of him as a fan girl and you'd fall to the ground because your legs would give way literally there is just something in this area this swag this kind of slanted shoulders hand in the pocket he does this a lot and he is so good at it Oh, I finally saw that jump again. Oh wait, dance break. There was no dance break in the other one. I had completely forgotten about the dance break. Oh, Josh. Get out. I was gonna swear then. <laughs> Oh yeah, they get all flippy in a minute, don't they? The fact that we missed out on that bit oh. The only shame right here is that they missed the complete circle of what Stell draws right there, right? I like that they're giving us a little bit of a close-up, but I just hate that they missed it. And I just have to see Josh's face again, I'm sorry. Sorry, not sorry, actually. They miss out his arms at the bottom. I just want Ken to do a backflip. <laughs> I'm seriously starting to think that Ken not being real is starting to rub off on Josh a little bit because I don't think he's real either. I think I've seen him with this aura a fair bit, but something was really on fire in this performance because I could not take my eyes off of him. I don't know what it is. They were just glued. I didn't even look at anybody else during this performance. I really tried to look at Justin and I tried hard to look at Pablo. But I just could not take my eyes off of Josh. He killed it. They should do solo member versions of this. I would be up for watching all of them, obviously. Um, yeah. You pick up the lines a lot more in this. You pick up their formations a lot more. A lot of it jumps. The choreography itself jumps out to you more when they're dressed like this. It's really interesting to see it performed in lots of different ways on lots of different stages as well. Um, and just to see how it still works, how it's still powerful. It was still powerful when they were doing it in their rehearsal gear, but it's really powerful when you put them under spotlights. I would just, I watched a live performance of this quite early on, didn't I? When they did it at the Round Festival. I do not remember what that was like. I'm sure it was absolutely killer. I mean, I was not in the SB19 P-pop frame of mind at that point to fully appreciate what that was, but I bet it was killer, wasn't it? And they were wearing those amazing outfits as well. They weren't dressed in this sort of gear, were they? I'm sure I would have remembered 
a change in outfits. I'm pretty sure they wore the same outfits throughout that, throughout that show. I don't know. Maybe I'm lying. Um, but yeah, this was really great. You get to see all of it. The only thing about performance videos is that you lose out on some of that choreography. The only way to then get it is when you watch that real performance, real um, rehearsal stuff, right? Because all of this, you start getting some of the trickery with the camera to make things pop a little bit more, the bounciness of the camera. Um, but still, amazing nevertheless. Thank you so much for watching this with me. I hope that you had fun and until I see you next time, take care, stay safe. Bye.